www.mortifunds.com. Hope you guys are doing good. Uh, welcome to Recovery Thursdays, and I want to make sure I got this out to you guys. Um, this is one of the best stretches that I do beforehand, after, and during the day. What happens is my body is so messed up and rewired that I add up to which is known as your groin. Some people have tight groins and they know they do. And it just got really tight. Um, and that's really one of the main causes of my, my hip pain, my low back pain, and anything derives pretty much from here as I went to my, my therapist and whatnot. And I, I would have never thought that until he told me that that's pretty much where it's uh, streaming from because I've done so much work on the hip and it just got tight that whenever your muscles get really tight and they start becoming dormant or inactive or sleeping, um, it'll find another way for your body to move. So now I'm overcompensating and now I have another overactive muscle and pretty much I have a sleepy butt, a really tight hip, and now an extremely tight abdomen. So the big stretch that I do that I saw is I go up to a wall, I push my butt up as hard as I can, legs go nice and straight, and I just hang. Stay right here, all right? I really try to lock my knees out every once in a while, but then really just keep it nice and stiff, and then just hang out here. So if you have your phone, not obviously I don't have it because uh, it's taken right now. Uh, if you have your phone, break it out. Tell Siri to set a timer for like four minutes. Four to five minutes, guys, four to five minutes. In fact, I heard muscles don't stretch till after two minutes inside a hole, so you got a little bit longer than just 30 seconds. Four minutes, hanging here. Sometimes I stay six minutes. All right, just hanging out. Answer your emails, go on Instagram, go on your Facebook, whatever you want to do. With some dead time. Boom, right here. After that, I'll go straight into the squat. Bring my butt out. And I will come to a good position here. And I will push my knees out. Breathing in, breathing out. And when I'm done, I will slowly get out of here. All right, guys, so make sure you're taking care of yourselves. I understand working out is very, very important, but so is post-recovery as well as pre-rehab. So make sure you get those little points that are starting to bother you, starting to hurt, and take care of that stuff because you're not going to do it that long if you keep pushing through um, any type of tightness or pain. All right, understand there's a difference between pain and then there's a difference between that pain when you're running, okay? That pain when you're running, you get to that lactic threshold. It's different than the pain that you feel when you wake up in the morning or when you're just working out for some reason it just doesn't feel right. Alright? Get to it, find the find out where it's coming from, find those trigger points, and we'll start working towards a better you. See you guys later. Keep at Peace out.